All right, everybody. Hello and welcome. This is Colin, and today we're doing something completely different. We are doing a Blender tutorial video. So welcome. Uh, this is going to be covering render layers, the Z combine, and the compositor. So if you're here, I assume that that's why you're here. You you've looked up those topics and somehow you found my video. So thanks for being here. And uh, this can be real quick. It's not going to be in depth. It's just a cursory glance at how this technique works. Because I had a specific problem. And it took me a few hours to really figure out what I was doing to fix it. And uh, I figured it out. And I thought I'd share just as brief as possible. So what are we doing? Okay, what's the problem? All right, if you look at my render in the bottom left hand here, you see I'm doing a recreation of the Final Fantasy VII main you know, menu screen, right? And I've got this nice glare coming off the sword and the pommel, but the glare is actually affecting the text and the cursor. And that's because if you look up here in the compositor node editor, uh, you've got your render layers, which is just the main render layer that you have by default, the, the first one. I've added the glare and it goes to the compositor, but I don't want the glare to affect the text. So how do we fix that? Well, it's really, really easy. <laughs> the first thing you want to do is select the objects that you want to split off that you don't want to be affected by you know in this case the glare applying to the whole thing so I've got those selected um, I'm going to hit M and I'm gonna move those to a second layer and then in our render layer uh, setup properties menu over here we're gonna add a new render layer and basically what we're gonna do is you see we've we've got them separated out so this is all by itself this is the sword by itself with the lights and all that and uh, we are going to shift click to select them both so we, we, we can do that up here or down here so we want we want to render both of them uh, but we want the second render layer to just render the second visible layer if that if that makes sense so the first one is rendering the first layer the second one is rendering the second layer and so we need to render those out and then combine them so if we render right now you'll see that we get the sword but there's no text and then we get the text by itself now there's one more setting that I have to tell you about and that is uh, in your main render settings uh, you go to film and then you check transparent because if you don't check ch transparent uh, and I render again you'll see that the text renders against the background environment which is black in this case and that will cause problems when we try to combine them because the black is not actually transparent it's it's a full color value so we turn on transparency and now we're going to go back to our compositor and we're going to add a new input which is a we're going to add a new render layer input so we select our second one and then we need to combine them so I fooled around with this for so long but the answer that uh, finally worked for what I wanted to do was the Z combine um, you might think alpha over under but remember that, that just didn't quite work for me uh, for various reasons maybe it was just problems with the way I'd set up my scene but this ended up being a solution so we're gonna connect the image to the image so we're gonna cut that connect that here and then connect that to the compositor so we're just we basically just got the glare you know the two render layers combining on the Z combine and I'm just gonna change the Z value because if the Z values are the same they won't uh, work correctly also click use alpha that way it actually thinks about the alpha and we're gonna render again see what happens I think that's pretty much everything so we've separated them well I'll just wait till it does it yep there we go transparent and then boom so the glare is not affecting the text in the cursor which is exactly what I wanted um, and yeah so what we did was we separated the objects that we wanted to be uh, you know not affected by our our first render layer into a new visible layer this guy right here we've got the both selected we went to our render layers we added a new render layer and told it to look at just the second layer the first one looks at just the first layer and then we went to the compositor added that render layer into the node tree and then can combine them in the Z combine now I don't know anything about Z it says something to do with ordering fiddle with these values they don't actually affect your end image it's just an ordering system you know a, a, you know where they come in the scene um, Z as in like layering front to back 
kind of visually from the 2d perspective um so yeah uh, that that's it um that is the tip <laughs> so hopefully that helped you out uh i there's not much more i can explain about it because i really don't understand the the you know the technology or the you know the science behind the z layers that's just something that took me about three hours to figure out and i, I hopefully have explained it in about five minutes so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll be happy to help you out. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.